Kale Igosala. So, Mr. Chancellor, I want to commend you and the University Council and Professor Mailaino. Last year, early this year before the new administration came in, the Lords of Impunity State capture, conflict of interest, and land grabbers intimidated the council and the vice chancellor to allow the grabbing of Kenyatta University land. These great men and women said no. They were harassed, intimidated, demeaned, humiliated, but they stood up. Can you give a clap to the University Council and the I want to tell you, the great people, had things gone wrong, and Dr. William Ruto was not elected as president, your land had already been grabbed after Professor Wainaina and the council were removed. We have hence instructed the Ministry of Lands to cancel those allocations and reinstate the lands to Kenyatta University. And President William Ruto made a promise during the campaign that if elected president, one of the things he'll do is to reinstate the University Council and Professor Wainaina as Vice Chancellor. Has it happened or it has not happened? And I want to say, and I want to challenge all those given the responsibility to run our institutions, please be firm. Never be intimidated to do the wrong things. Professor Wainaina refused impunity. She refused to cooperate in allowing people in the previous administration to grab land for this university. She paid the ultimate price. He was humiliated in public. He was demeaned and he was dismissed as vice chancellor. He walked with his head tall but stood firm. That is the way. Never again, never again in this country, in our government, will any officer of government from president going downward will ever again humiliate a professor before his children and his students and his lecturers. It is wrong. It's unacceptable. And I want to appeal to the political leadership in this country. When God gives you power, don't demean other people. Don't make other people feel small. All human beings deserve respect. Professor Wainaina may be a small person compared to those big people, but he has a wife who thinks he's a hero. He has children who think he's a hero. He has students who think he's a hero. When you demean him in public, that is unacceptable. Professor Wainaina and the Senate, on behalf of the government of the Republic of Kenya and the political leadership, we want to apologize to you and your family and the Kenyatta University fraternity for the humiliation that you are accorded for standing firm to refuse the land of Kenyatta University to be granted. We have agreed that the land revert to Kenyatta University, save for 38 acres, that will be procedurally and in accordance with the law, be given to the supporters of Kamai. The, the rest of the land remains for Kenyatta University and must be preserved as such for the university and for posterity. Finally, we are aware of the little friction and discomfort between the university management and the referral hospital. We have called a meeting in January to sort it out. We'll call the university management, the referral hospital management, the cabinet secretary for health, and the cabinet secretary for education to sort out that matter amicably for the benefit not just of the university but for the people of Kenya so that we have a seamless institution that is operating in the manner that it was envisaged when it was set up. So I request 
you to give us a bit of time. When we come in the new year, we shall be able to sort out that matter. Again, this university is respected. Most of us, we went through the hands of teachers who got their degrees in these great institutions. And therefore, we are indebted to this institution. I ask you to continue bringing up graduates at all levels, masters, PhD, for the benefit of this country. And as you I have said, the report on the Presidential Working Party on education reforms will be out next year so that we set out what we need to do about our universities, about the CBC, and other requirements of areas where we have a bit of challenge so that uh, we can streamline our education sector. I really want to salute the new Minister for Education, the Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, for pragmatic leadership that he has exhibited since he was given the opportunity to lead this great sector. And Waziri, you have our support, and we want to encourage you to proceed with the good work you are doing. I want to commend the university, 